Welcome to the Connecting to SharePoint series. In this video, we'll look at how to connect a SharePoint for on-premises to cloud-based dedicated scenarios. When migrating from on-premises to Office 365 dedicated, it's best to install the Content Matrix console either on a source farm or on several machines close to the source farm within the same LAN, and then to use the Metalogix extensions web services installed on the target farm on Office 365D and to do the migration that way. For migrations to Azure, Amazon, or other dedicated environments, the best solution is to back up your source database and restore it on a database server in Azure or Amazon, and then use the Metalogix database adapter to connect to that database and do the migration in a local fashion. So let me start by connecting to my source farm by selecting connect to SharePoint. And in this case, I'll select the source SharePoint 2007 farm. And if I leave it at auto detect, it will use a local connection because that's where the console is installed. And I now have my source farm. Connecting to Office 365D, I can then connect as though it's an on-premises installation and again select the target farm URL. And in this case, it will use the remote connection Metalogix extensions web services to connect to that. For a cloud-based scenario, that connection would take a little bit longer and migrations will be slower. For migrations to Azure or Amazon-based servers, the backed up database should already be on a virtual machine on the Amazon or Azure VMs. And what you can do is install the Content Matrix console directly on the target farm and use the normal connect to SharePoint connection with a farm level local object model connection to connect to your target. And once you're connected to your target, use the database connection to connect to the local database that you now have on your Azure or Amazon environment and basically do a local migration. So I'll just put the name of the database server. I'll connect. I'll make sure to select the content database I want to start with. Connect to that. And in the host name, I'll put the URL of the source server as it is on premises today. That way, link correction will use that to correct links on the way in. And as you can see, I now have my source connection as a database connection and my target connection 